got to tell somebody, got to tell somebody, if they ask me, yeah, I'm gonna keep it real, one, my story is better when you tell it, I keep it real, yeah, uh, nothing probably gonna come out of rap, I should probably put this mic down, baby mama starting to look at me funny, Hey, anyway, welcome back to God Talk. Y'all know the deal, man. I'm tired. It's 421, but it's 420 continued. We put in an extra day. What a perfect day to have God Talk podcast with y'all. Today we have the round table. My brother, my one and only, K Smooth. Now or never coming soon. You gotta get closer, Smooth. You know, niggas gotta hear your opinion. We got my better half, you already know, God Talks on, Bain Ali. What's the deal, people? You feel me? We got Imani, fresh off the veggie burger. <laughs> and we got the queen. What up? Um, and then we got my boy, Radio Ray Shirt. Squat up, squat up, squat up. Um, oh, this is your Um, I just want to say happy holidays to all my stoners. If I can just take a personal second to say thank you for any and everybody that heard and spread the word about Mac Dre that showed up to the listening party, that fucking streamed it, told their mama about it. I appreciate you. We just going to be on some other shit. Um, as the roundtable continues, I feel like it's really important right now to address the culture that we in. So that's going to be the topic. This is episode six, I think. I think we start the episode five. So we're going to talk about the motherfucking culture that we in. And that includes not only hip-hop, um, but movies, TV shows, Netflix, uh, jobs. When it comes to this culture that we love, you know, that we call our own. What what we classify that? Is it hip-hop? Wake your ass up, be nice. But it, what we say is hip-hop, what we say is urban culture. Let's give the culture a title since we're going to dig into the culture, man. But what we call our culture. It's bigger than rap, though, that's for sure. I mean, it's, it all stems from hip-hop. I would say that a lot of people don't like that term hip-hop as just the general term. They say it sound outdated. They say it sound um, old. But I just will stay with it, calling it hip-hop culture because everything from just little subtle stuff. So it's the hip-hop culture. It's the hip-hop culture. All right. We got, probably got to think of a more contemporary name All right, for so it, let, can somebody, Imani, can you look up the definition of culture? for me all right so if we go on with the hip-hop culture narrative like where do you see the culture at right now Samu? you may have to scoot up though but where right now where do you see the culture at i gotta go the culture um it's to some is different you know so I, I guess it really depends on the generation that you say that you were part of okay you feel me because you know our generation if I don't, you know, if I can say that, um, I could say the way we look at shit now is like, this ain't it. Mm-hmm. You know, how we, what we grew up seeing, part of, and all that, it's just, it is a little bit different, or maybe it's not, mm-hmm. you know? What, when you say generation, what determines your generation? Like That's what I said, I don't know if I can determine I would say your like, generation is, as far as, what up, Chef? What's up, God talk. Taking you, you pulling up? Yeah, I'm cooking. You cooking? Hold on one second. I'll be all right. All right, but um, oh, cause I want to come back and chime in on that. Too. Right. <laughs> but um, you said generation is what the the year you were born. I don't even think it's, it could be really be the year you were born. You can add that in there, but more so of what you feel that you were a part of. What's the definition as as, of culture? Oh, yeah, what's the definition of culture? You got it? Yeah. The arts and other manifestations of human intellectual achievement regarded collectively. Regarded collectively. The what? What was the beginning? The arts and other manifestations of human intellectual achievement Hmm. regarded collectively. 
So with the generation thing, I feel like that's whatever you culture. feel you was connected with, but you connect yeah. with yourself with that. Especially time. music. For me, my I would say, just judging it off hip hop, your generation is probably like. That definition is so important. Though. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. But the hip hop generation, I say as a listener, is probably from like junior high on up into like man or woman. Nah, but then when you get older, they say Generation X and Generation. Oh, that, that's, that's, why I, that's why I classify mine as just a hip hop. Hip hop. Hip hop. All right. Generation. So, as a culture, I feel like in going, I'm going to try and like break down that freaking definition but, as much as I can. Well, let me yeah. chime into where I think we're at. Because I was thinking about this other day where I was chilling with this girl and we was oh. talking about it. And I think the, gen- the culture is. Um, we in the Lil Wayne generation. Facts. Mm-hmm. All his of his, his hip-hop babies is growing up. Even Facts. if they don't make the same kind of music, but you could just look at artists like the Migos, all the quote-unquote mumble rappers. And I'm not even talking about rapping. I'm just talking about appearance Yeah, rise. culture. The yeah. culture. Yeah. The, from dreads, when Lil Wayne didn't start dreads, he didn't start tattoos, mm-hmm. but the combination of the two. Mm-hmm. And Lil Wayne, he one thing, cool. he yeah. made it and socially drugs. acceptable to start getting tatted on drugs. your face and the drip. Yeah. Drugs, the the mumbling, all that, mm-hmm. the being halfway there, high in interviews, mumbling. I don't know if that's he's one of the greatest rappers. Let's not. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm just talking about from. That's what I said. From aside it, from yeah, the yeah, music, yeah. just from just the impact. Like, just I'm conscious. looking at J Cole album, and I'm like, damn, everybody under J Cole on this cover. Like, if you look at the lane cup, if you look at the dreads, if you look at the tattoos, I'm like, they Wheezy Wednesdays. Like that, those are spawns. Like look, Lil yeah, Man, so but, I mean not Lil Man, Lil Wayne and Gucci yeah. Man's hip hop babies is all grown up. Yeah, yeah. facts. Yeah. That's who Spawns is running the culture right mm-hmm. now. I ain't gonna say it's good or bad, but that's where we that's, are. With that's it. where yeah. we're at. I think it's just acceptance at this point. You know what I'm saying? Everybody gotta accept it. You know, uh, the older man. generation have to understand that it's their time. You know what I'm saying? It don't mean, like you said, good or bad. I don't, you know, I don't think nobody have to step aside. Or I think understanding and respect needs to be just. Got to respect. I have to respect. Speaking of respect, 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 respect everybody. Grind, even did y'all, I like this did shit, y'all see the? Uh, Walk it like you talk it video from the Migos. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was that was a shout out in respect to the culture of back in the day. Mm-hmm. You feel me? That video was hard. And I love that video. Hey, Imani, can you that. read that culture definition again? Mm-hmm. Please? And you gotta look at it too, like this. Anybody you see it. Anybody who's like 21, 22, 23 now, ten years ago when Gucci Man and Lil Wayne was like peaking, mm-hmm. like at the, at the hottest ever, them kids was at them ages where the formative ages, as far as the word, especially Lil Wayne, was going to be your favorite rapper yeah. at that time. Because we grew up on, like, Jay-Z mm-hmm. and, like, the golden era when we was, like, elementary school, junior high, and all mm-hmm. that. But what they had to grow up on was like Kanye, Lil Wayne, mm-hmm. game. the later 50, Game, just that era. Like, mm-hmm. their whole upbringing was different. And shout out to Game, because I don't think he get enough he don't credit. Get that, but but the antics and, and, the, yeah. and some of the clown shit yeah. be running that. Like, 6 ix 9 is, like, the perfect... Like combination of everything. I think like six nine everything has to be the last happened. one. Like, He's like the combination of everything that, that ever, ever fucking happened. happened. That everything that ever the blood existed. shit, like, the rainbow shit, gosh, everything. I, like, I think on every level from rock He's like to, a, yeah. He's just like a blend. Yeah. Of He's like the perfect a combination spawn of yeah. every fucking. Like let me mix everything up. Every All the tattoos. Genre. We're gonna take yeah. everything to the max and we're mm, gonna put it out. Extreme. Yeah. And I think that's what's going on right now. Everything is extreme. Is that you know like people aren't afraid to be their selves. And then, yeah. and then you add the fact that, hey, I'm doing this to take a picture. You add that fact to it. It's like, oh, I may do something crazy. I may paint my nails black. You know what I'm saying? It's more yeah, about the controversy. Style, the yeah, yeah the controversy is content. He sound like a little waka flucker. Yeah. Exactly He's a combination of everything. Yeah. Anyway. Or even deeper than, I mean, further gotta, back than that, it just got <clears> the hundred shit. The old, yeah. old New York, yeah. that old shit. It was just like, it's, it's 2018 funny, beats. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's hit, they hit the harder. got better Other frequencies. But station. it ain't thing. Mm-hmm. 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 I think his image is more says more than his music, you know. What I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Even though he got hits, like his, a, yeah, he got his hits. album hard. Like I don't say Five nothing on, from on the billboards, but it's just like his whole image is like a it's, it's kind of crazy. All right, y'all, <laughs> welcome back to God Talk. Of course, y'all know it is episode six. This will be episode six. We got my nigga Radio Racer, K Smooth, wow. Bain Ali, Imani. We got B Mac the Queen. That I guess you will be our special guest, motherfucker. This is our special guest, Be Mike the Queen. She's our special guest at Gato. So, again, we discussed in the culture. Imani was pleasant enough to bring up the definition that got us all in our heads right now. 
um, culture, the arts and other manifestations of human intellectual achievement regarded collectively. So we all think this the same way about these high high achievements that the people before that people us, before us that's what it's about have. Mm-hmm. All we right. all collectively agree, and we try to, you know, that's Thank the standard or the foundation. That's our culture. So a culture, our followers. A cult. A cult. It's mm-hmm. right there in the name. Sure. It's right there. It's a real word. Exactly Where's my fucking lighter? Where's my fucking lighter? <laughs> that shit is crazy. That's why you feel so passionate about it. When you feel connected. Yeah. When you yeah. feel connected. It really is. It's so see, passionate. Well, and, and that's human nature. Even, nation even to stop you right there, like yeah. the cult got a negative connotation mm-hmm. just because of just. Can you look up cult for me, please? And not even just the name, but just the shit certain cults be having people do. Like it can be a cult that could be about positivity or. Right. Sending the kids right. to college or just church. is religion a cult? Yeah, yeah. the cult is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. because but cult get the get the bad connotation when you see them mass suicides or yeah. just see the dumb shit that the dumb cults be on. But for the most part, cults is the military is a cult. Yeah, no, it's you gotta podcast shit. Yeah. Nigga, sports is a cult. Nigga, right. sports is a gang, nigga. Gang. You already know, Patriot gang, nigga. Raider, fuck gang. Gang. Stop, 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 stop. What's up, John Gruden? Oh. This, this guy talk. <laughs> we're gonna focus on <laughs> godly things so what are All right, we we'll at? say the sports for uh Bear tom brady podcast. let's get this shit with we'll we'll the oh, hey, tom brady let's get our shit together we're going to. All right. hey <clears throat> lebron let's get our shit together we down <laughs> to one you feel me just hit me on my you feel me whatever you, you shine a shop and brown hey, hey, nah 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 i'm not saying i just hit him on his on his jacket like AD. <laughs> all right let yeah. me imani let's get the definition of cult a system of religious wow. veneration and devotion directed towards a particular figure or object. Devotion. Jesus Christ. Literally. Yeah. We'll say that. All right. That one more. Can I get that. that first line one more time, Imani, please? A system of religious veneration and devotion directed towards a particular veneration. figure or object. A system. First word. So, <laughs> whenever a nigga say culture, we got to stop it. We have to put it into the culture mindset. True. It's just part sheep. It's sheep. If you're a part of the culture, if you're doing something for the culture, it, it has a cap on it. You feel me? You're doing something for a bunch of followers. Mm-hmm. It's kind of selfish, like, I'm doing this to... Wow. Or, you're trying to preserve rituals. Trying to save the Good or bad save. rituals. But, like, can a culture be saved, now it's that we know the definition? That's what good all cultures yeah. try to preach, yeah. is to save people. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. To keep it going. Exactly. It's all a right. system. But even it the can bad, definitely but even is, negative. Right. They're trying to per- per- perpetuate genocide and stuff. Genocide. It's a culture. It's their culture. All right, so let's take a moment to dip, dip on this. And I'm going to start reverse. You know, we got to flip it. Let's start with BMAC. We start with radio. Let's start with BMAC. How do you feel about religion? Um, culture. I did, it said, the definition said religious, right? Yeah, religious how do you? F- <laughs> that's crazy that that would say that. That's crazy. I, yeah, I feel like religion. Get is closer just, to the mic or oh, talk loud a little bit. So. I feel like religion is just another, just another system. It's a, it's like asking me what do I feel about politics or anything else. It's like sports or it's just another it's system. It's another another to, fucking it's just another yeah, a system, a program. It's like college. Exactly. Like fucking college. Some niggas get paid for it. Some don't. Exactly. <laughs> some you know, niggas pay it's, for it. It's like charity. It's like volunteer. It's a system. It's you, a system. You, and some, uh, most of us are uh, born into it. And at the, I think, but at some point, you volunteer. Like you know, what I'm saying, you just got to read between the lines. And if you really think some of that stuff in the Bible is just like, you know, I think you you're in denial at some point. You're really not just trying to look above and below and realize this yeah. galaxies and other stuff deeper than. You gotta understand that somebody even wrote that, you know? Like, I don't know. Somebody, like, somebody, like, literally, somebody, like, Jesus in the sky did not write and type. You feel me? Like, I I ain't fucking with that. And I can't be delusional forever. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, for ant facts. Yeah. It's cool to be delusional for a little bit. Like, it's actually fun. We all are. We're born that way. Yeah, we're born we, that way. We have way. no yeah. control over our own lives, right. you know, at birth. Mm-hmm. Bang, chime in on the Bible. Take the Bible from, from her. How do you feel about the Bible, God? I feel about the Bible. Me and Chef just had a conversation the other day about this, you know what I mean? And how I feel about it is that I hear a lot of things, you know what I mean? And I'm just correlating everything, putting everything together. And it's like, look, something's not right. Facts. All right. And based on their history, there's more to it. And you can't believe everything you hear. And I and I believe, and I, what I told Chef was that religion is selling hope. Facts. Like it's dope. For real. To hopeless. For real. You selling hope to hopeless. For real. To hopeless. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is looking for something to believe in. Facts. Right? Yeah. Everybody. You know yeah. what I mean? And boom. That's exactly And that ties into what you said. It's like people naturally are looking for something to be a part, a part of. The church yeah. always, or at least the black church, they always try to reel you in on you got to have faith no matter what's right. going on. Right. Like, and like the black church raised us, like you feel me? That's right. where that's our foundation. That's a lot of people's foundation, mm-hmm. and it's a great thing. Like you get what you need from it. Like Cat, yeah. Cat Nine, shout out to Cat yeah. Nine. She said it's more confirmation. Mm-hmm. She said so. That's why when you go to church, you feel like the like pastor's talking, yeah. talking to you. Cool. He's positive. confirming your your, your thoughts. thoughts, but it's like it's really there to learn. Like shout out to Caleb. I wish Caleb was here. Like he said, there's extremists. He said. Speaking of his own beliefs and shit, he compared it to Christianity. He said there's people that take it extreme, and there's people that fucking, you know what I'm saying, just go to church, get taught, take the lessons home, and implement them in their life. And then there's people who... Do the same thing with the Bible. Who feed off of of the dollars and the cents. Yeah, yeah, of the system, the 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 whole culture. Mm -hmm. All right, so again, New Pilgrim, McKinley, we saw Anthony the other day. Right. How you feel about let's I'm gonna say church, but let's put the black church. How you feel about that whole system and your experience in that? Um, definitely black as black folks, we are more I would say a little bit in tune with it kinda naturally as far as like Naturally, I that's I key. don't wanna say we take it to the extreme, but like we're what's the word? Uh passionate. Yeah, passionate about that kind of stuff um growing up in it you know as a kid going to church and all that you don't really know what you're there for mm-hmm. like half the time we doing some other shit getting in trouble for real you know um but the other day i was at work and um it was this couple older couple and then you know i was trying to sell them uh, the membership and shit like that and they randomly stopped me and was like are you a christian and i'm like Nah, I mean, you just I banging on me, nigga? Right, right. Like, but I got my beliefs, like, my faith and everything of, the, you know, the higher power and energy and all that yeah. stuff. And then it was like, okay, good, you know, just as long as you have faith. And it turned out that the guy, he was a pastor. Mm-hmm. And he even told me, he was like, all that religion stuff, yeah. like, don't you know worry about truth. that. As long as you got your faith mm-hmm. and all that, who you believe in, then you're going to mm-hmm. be good. That's the message. Though. Right. That's and then a couple of days too. later after that, when I was in the store, this lady, she was like, church, like, it's not a place you go to. She was like, we're having church right now. Because it was chopping Yeah, up, right? facts. Yeah, because I was right now. I was right. buying some fruit. I was looking for some fruit. She was too. She like, you a vegetarian? I'm like, nah, you know, I'm trying to do a little better, though. And then she was like, yeah. And then she started going over, like, you know, the facts, the shit mm-hmm. they put in the food and all that. And she was strangers. like... Strangers. Yeah, strangers. Strangers. She was like, like I don't know why, boy. but it feels like, you know, I was right here to tell this to you. Like, you feel like... And then, uh, yeah, she was just like, you know, we have in church right now. You don't have to go into no way Into a building, church, pay right? tithes and right. offering. Right. And that's what bothered me because I really went to church, man, and that shit was really... You was really a church boy. I was really a church boy, mm-hmm. like... But, of course, with me... Whatever. But just lately, I've been tuning in to my pastor because my pastor is cold. Mm-hmm. Shout out Michael Fisher. But the last one was about shift and he was just talking about the season of comfort is over for everybody. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, no, it's not time to be comfortable. Right. And it's like, your resources are dried up. Like, people that you used to fucking depend on is, for some reason or another, they're not That's there crazy, for you. I've been feeling that lately. You feel like, me? So he said that season really is over. Comfortable. Mm-hmm. Like, like, a little saying, later, like I'm going to bring I have to my, be yeah. doing something, yes. making some type of move. Yes. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. 
That's crazy. Man. Let me pass it to Rashard, and then I'm gonna get get some of some of the notes out that he says, so we can discuss. I think that'll be tight. Still in the black church. Yeah, religion. that's exactly what I'm passing it to you for. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to just start off with religion because I, I want to say something. As far as the Bible is concerned, I think the Bible was obviously had to be translated into print and be written by somebody. But what we got to do or what we need is really a Bible, but a 2020 version. Because the world is not how it is. It was right. Yeah, back, years back. Ago. <laughs> But going back to that, I say that to say this, even going back like to... Like an updated yeah, 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 We need yeah. that for real. But I say that to say this because, you know, they said a Virgin Mary. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know how true this is, but I read somewhere that, and I've, everybody I always thought this since they was kids, like, how the fuck she get pregnant, quote, unquote, right. without having sex? Yeah. But the reason why they called her Vir- Virgin Mary, from what this article was saying, was because back then, the word virgin didn't mean you hadn't had sex. Not it just meant you, you didn't have had children. Oh, right. That's, yeah, that's heard, what yeah, I think I know what virgin about. meant. You wasn't a baby mama. Yeah. You wasn't a baby mama. You hadn't had a kid at all. So that's why they called her the virgin. Yeah. So that's what that really means? From what the article was it's saying. It's a hell of a fucking yeah, thought. Right. It's a hell of a hell And then translate to the black church and just church in general because I always like to look at stuff from a realistic perspective. From As a kid, before you really knew the world, you just was kind of brainwashed as far as not necessarily what was going on as far as what the preacher was telling you, but just as far as the inner workings of the church. And when you get older, you figure out that in the Catholic churches, this boy is getting molested. For real? In the black churches, the, the pastor is taking down. Hustle, yeah, the fucking con- bitches in the congregation. Right it's just other, right. under like, like right. women is, is in competition with each other. It's like a fashion show in some churches. Mm-hmm. It's just, you like, and, and it yeah, goes back to what Smooth was saying about you can have church scam. wherever you at. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't got to go to church yeah, I never to be hella religious that. or you how can your get personal a PA and go in the parking lot. Yeah. You could. It's like, look. They used to do it by the river in the yeah, south. Yeah, like, in the nigga, slavery days. this like, building in pews and choirs. Oh, no. You got to pray with that's, money and all that. Yeah, yeah. Well, you got pastors out here, and I'm not knocking nobody else. They built the like, churches to keep the devil out right, but the devil is still within the church mm-hmm. because it's still within the people when their mind is fucked oh. up when they're thinking about Let's see. You know, the pastor's fucking up the dishes. Yeah, and it just gets you funny. I'm not saying yeah, they, they can't have it, but I mean, oh, when man. you see pastors in private jets and that was one of the stadium sized churches, churches with basically tuition and membership. Yeah. Mega churches. The, church, the yeah. mega churches. That's why when camera I say, you, you know you're thirsty when you're going in the Lord's pocket. No, yeah. Come on. You man. know you're thirsty. Like, what are you like, really doing it for? But how do y'all feel about that though? Before we get off this, how do y'all feel about the the mega churches oh, and the memberships and like basically? Uh, it's what she said. It's an institution. I think even I think like, even the people that go go there gotta be some like hopeless motherfuckers. Some hopeless yeah, motherfuckers. Like, when you're at the root of it, like you really believe this? Believe, like you really you attending this thousand dollar like? Bro, they it's got an VIP event. sections it's with a yeah, jumbo like, tron. Like you they weird. They got VIP you sections with a You ain't no, like, like you want to you a follower or you or you weird or you really Pass hopeless? Like look if really like I would. And if you die hopeless, I feel like don't. Why would you even believe in another man? You see, ain't nobody gonna fucking come down and help us. Clearly. Help your fucking self. That's how I feel about God. It's like I'm God. That's how I feel. Bars, like, I'm the facts, only one facts, that's gonna save facts, me. Facts. I'm the only one that's gonna help me. Do anything. You it know takes what I'm a saying? lot. Like, it takes a lot to 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 learn that. I think you gotta reach the lowest level. Yeah, like you gotta yeah. almost reach yeah. death to realize, yeah. like yeah. to realize, yeah. like yo, you're the only person. Like nobody's know, coming. Know, like know. you God really complex. gotta reach yeah. the lowest yeah. death. Do y'all believe yo. in? Do y'all believe in heaven and hell? I, I believe it's right here, right now. But I think heaven and hell is positive. I think it's happiness. And yeah, yeah, I that's think it's happiness it and depression. Yeah, it's just like it's like love that's all and it is. fear. Yeah. Like understanding exactly. right. right. yeah, it's just this. different words. So what they try to teach you, they try to teach you hell is just fire and all this. Yeah, right. Fear. Yeah. Fear. Yeah. Fear. Yeah. Fear. That's fear. Yeah, fear. Hell is fear. Fire and brimstone. Fear. You're gonna burn in hell. You're gonna burn in hell. Imagine if niggas didn't I have just know replaced the world. I used to really think about that. Right. Damn, I'm gonna burn like well, I feel like that. Right. Yeah, that's, that's not that bad. You feel me? Yeah. I got burned before. That's the devil. One of the devil's you know? biggest tools is keeping the fear and no, that's the whole fear thing. nothing. <laughs> okay, fear is in the mind. I think like, it's going to happen. And it's passed it down from you. It's, 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 it's passed it's down. In movie, it's really movies like not just movies. General stuff like. Your family will tell you, like from Santa Claus to the Tooth Fairy, like shit yeah, like bullshit. that. It's, it's, it's just bullshit. Bullshit. 
It's just a different kind of bullshit. It's bullshit on a larger scale. Let's get on some of these notes. I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna go down the list. So many, like, if y'all want to stop and shit about life. Like, you know, it's like, too much gray area. It's like too much. Like, I feel like it's all a, a really It's too much confusion. As I go down the list of quotes or that I took, y'all stop me if y'all feel like y'all want to chime in on it. All right? So the first one was like the generation is all in the identity crisis. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The next one is a growth and change is always mandatory when God is granting you new territory. Agree. You gotta adapt Agreed. to your situation. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Your assignment has changed from serving to leading. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Um, Come to time. Mm-hmm. What you look for, and I took this so personal because the God complex. Because I know we was lynching, but I feel like that was a crucifix kind of like. You feel me? Shout out to Machiavelli and shout out to all the creators. But it said, what you look like pre and post crucifix should be two different identities. You feel me? Yeah. I'll read it again. Like, what you look like pre and post crucifix should be two different identities. Just, it's like, it's he was saying churches anyway. Crucifix could be anything. Like, yeah. This could be an accident. You yeah. It could leg, be you lost Kanye. Your job, right. You, yeah. Like, it's just, just a revert. You got to be a revert. Exactly. That's all it is. It's a Put change your, of. Like, Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Change your thinking. Everything has to change because mm-hmm. you're no longer where you used to be, mm-hmm. like physically, like mm-hmm. mentally, everything. If you don't change it, it will change you. Fact. <laughs> what don't kill you only make you stranger. Oh, shit. Damn, sure. Man, I think that's a good place to stop. That'll yeah. make motherfuckers come back, right? Or not? How long yeah. is it? That's yeah, that's 26, man. We good. Yeah, All right, man. Again. I'm going to just take two seconds while everybody wrapping up. Um, Please, pretty please, you ain't even got to like or comment. Just listen to Mac Dre 2. It's out right now on SeanAugust.com. Just check it, click it, like it, support it. Um, I put a lot of work into it, but I'm putting a lot of work into this God Talk too, just as much. So we back. The Mac Dre little two-week hiatus grind is over. I thank Mac. I thank Imani again. Bain Ali, you want to talk something? You want to say something? What you talking about? Why you uh, counting money, nigga? Yeah. Um, shout out to, shout out to Mac Dre, too. Gang. Last night was yeah. successful. <laughs> Gang. He smoked a lot of weed. 420. And, um, yeah. Hmm? A lot of great things is coming. See y'all later. Peace. All right. Smooth. Peace. Radio for lines. Eating. Mac, you got anything you want to say? You good? I'm good. For now. All right, it's Matt, good for now. She me great forever. In, the, in the, uh, the podcast world, I think I'm going to start doing this more. Yeah, with, so get your I'm, opinion out there. For sure, for sure. Thank y'all for tuning in. I know y'all tuning in. I hope um, this was a great topic. I hope you learned something. I hit y'all when I hit y'all. Peace.